We need we need some more ice in here, guys. <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The benefits of the ice bath are, are far beyond the physical, but if you do a hard workout like this guy just did, 14 minutes straight of burpees, um, there's no better way to recover your body, to alleviate soreness, to decrease inflammation, than immediately jumping in an ice bath. Although this is not a sufficient amount of ice, we have more ice en route. But let me let me help you out, bro. Because I love you, because I care, Brody part of our team, he uh, will always be part of our team, worked here for a while, decided to uh, take another opportunity, moved out of uh, Tampa, Florida, where Nutrition Solutions is located, uh, made his way back to Tampa. When did you get back? Uh, about six months ago. Okay, cool. Yeah, he reached out to us and said, hey, you know, I, I, I miss working out with you guys. I'd love to come back. And, and I don't know if you were surprised by the answer you got, but he's out here putting in the work, not because he has to, but because he gets to. Yeah. <laughs> If you can, <coughs> unfold your hands, right? And I want you to lean back. I want you to lean back and I want to submerge this because that's where, that's where the magic happens. The thyroid and, yep. and, and this nerve back here. So look, now you kind of just discovered like our little our little thing that we do. We, we say, hey, we're just gonna do a minute or hey, we're just gonna do three minutes and then we typically will keep you in there for a lot longer. Um, yeah, you, you've gotten through that little stage of, it's like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. And the, the thing that I urge you to consider is other areas of life where you pursue something and it gets really uncomfortable and, and intuitively you say, ah, oh, maybe that's not for me or maybe I can't do this. But right now you're doing something that two minutes ago you thought that you could. So stay in here another minute, minute and a half, and you get out and you go kill the day. My first ice bet. I My first that. ice bath, I don't even know if we can responsibly call it a bath. I barely made it a minute. Yeah. It, we did it here yeah. with my good friend Chris, Chris Gettys. Yeah. I tell people all the time, like, oh, like, how long should I do? It's like, don't worry about how long. Worry about just stepping forward and just doing something you've never done. And if you've never done an ice bath, it's probably not advisable to start with an ice bath. Start with a cold shower. You know, do a minute and yeah. progressively work your way up to three minute cold showers to the point where you get to five minutes without any sort of uh, stress, and then you step up to the ice bath. That's a whole other, a whole other thing, man. It's like going from high school to the Ivy Leagues. You know, it's a, it's a whole other level of uh, discomfort. Yep. Doesn't matter how long. It just matters that you do it, and that you work to improve each and every time. And over the course of time, those little, those little steps of progress, they certainly add up.